Welcome to Rega Ego Nigeria Limited, where we give you information about some agricultural crops. Today we shall talk about the rice mill commissioned in Kano State, Nigeria. The global food shortage that developed recently has drawn attention forcibly to the whole worldwide process of production, distribution and consumption of food. One aspect of food supply that is yet to be maximized in Nigeria is the area of rice production and milling. Nigeria is blessed with arable land and good soil condition, but is yet to involve in the use of technology in the production of rice. But today is a new beginning, as President Mohamed Buhari will be commissioning Amaravo Rice Mill Plant, a subsidiary of Food Mar Group in Kanu State which is one of the best rice manufacturing company in Nigeria. After a photo app with the factory workers, President Buhari proceeded to cut the ribbon with other dignitaries. One significance of the manufacturing plant is the production capacity to process 250 tons of rice per day and a better quality for exports that is free from stone and sand. This feat achieved now is as a result of the major breakthrough in the development of high yielding rice varieties and improved practices in growing rice. One major factor to consider in paddy rice is that early harvest fetches higher field yields as losses are reduced in harvesting, transporting, threshing, and storing of the crop. The recommended moisture content for harvesting paddy rice is between 20 to 23 percent. The governor, Adulai Ganduje, used the platform to speak to the people of his administration and other development plan. To make Kano City a truly mega city, we have awarded consultancy services for the review of the Kano Master Plan. Within the Kano Metropolitan, we've constructed and commissioned 39 roads with a total length of 75 kilometers. Also, in order to address the issue of urban renewal within the Asian city of Kano, we introduced a new program of reconstruction of drainages, cover slabs, interlocking tiles, and street lights. The rice plants located in Kano will definitely upscale the GDP of rice production of Kano State in terms of increase in food value, increase in economic value and improve quality or acceptability. This rice factory commission today in Kano can be able to carry out a whole lot of functions such as threshing, milling, cleaning, drying, packaging, storing, marketing, and distribution to consumers. The project is not only targeted at providing jobs to our teaming youth who are unemployed, or it will help boost food sufficiency and elevate the state's position in the agro-processing industry. With developments such as this, and more on the way, Kano State has become the second biggest rice producing state with exportation in view. A long-term target is to produce high-quality rice that can match rice produced elsewhere.